Hi Leo, welcome to your bonus reading for February. This is Mary, Miss Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Leo, we're going to take a little look at a little bit of love, a little bit of what's going on in your life right now, a little bit of um, advice for you. So it's a quick little reading and we'll see what we have for you at this time. So welcome in everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus. Only take what resonates. Um, if it's not fitting for you, um, you know, then it's probably not your reading or only take what resonates. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you, Leo, at this time. And I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So um, links to your playlists are in the description box below, Love in General. And I'll also pin some information to the top comment. And in the description box, you'll also find out uh, the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you like to tip or donate or send a gift, all that information is below. So we go. let's see what we have for you in love in this bonus reading. So if any of your monthly readings didn't resonate, um, maybe something here will. So we have confusion here. People don't know which direction they're going in. They can't find their way out. A lot of confusion here. People in a maze going around in circles. Could be going around in circles in their head. We have 43, which is 7. 7 is, though, a very spiritually um, divine energy. So, But people are confused. They can't find their way out of their own thoughts, I feel. Could be you or it could be a person you're dealing with. And then we have the cross underneath here, which is the six of clubs there, which is the six of pentacles, which is about balance. But 36 is nine. And that, you know, it can be wishes and dreams coming true. can be an independent energy. Um, let's see, 36. Let's, I want to read just a little snippet for you. See what this has to say. The cross. I am the bringer of grief, sadness, burdens, and ordeals. Pain, suffering, and guilt is the area of my expertise. I claim weeping tears and lamentations and ask for prayers and supplications. When happy cards come to my right, well, we're not pulling cards to the right, so I um, shouldn't experience too much. But what I'm getting here is somebody is feeling overburdened with a connection. And they're very, very confused. You know, but when I look at that card, I mean, that's the meaning of the card. But when I look at it, I see the cross, which to me gives me like the hierophant energy of, you know, faith, spirituality, religion. Um, you know, that's like marriage, commitment. But in this deck, it means something different. So, so what I'm getting with this is somebody could have to do with a marriage or a long-term commitment. Somebody is feeling burdened. Uh, at this time over a connection and very confused they don't know what to do now let me read just a little bit I believe that's the maze um, see if there's a message in there 43 well it's called labyrinth hmm when you think you've done everything you can, you hit a wall and have to start again. I am the labyrinth that keeps you going. <coughs> Sorry. Through trial and error to the end. There are no shortcuts to success, my friend. Huh. To me, they look like a maze. But to me, that <laughs> seems like confusion. But we'll see when we get into the tarot. So let's pull a little bit of life for you now. What's going on with you? At this time, for Leo, please, Spirit, thank you so much. For Leo, for Leo. And we have Don't Let Your Past Hold You Back, South Node. And this is about not, kind of with the mace here, not retracing your steps and going backwards. Um, it's about don't let things you've done in the past, things of the past hold you back from moving forward into the future. Because I feel like with this card here, you know, you start thinking about those things of the past and it just makes you go in circles, which doesn't help. So on the bottom, we have you and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. So something about the past here and your loved ones. So 
if there's something with uh, the safety of your family, your friends, or something here, and you're worried about the safety of your loved ones moving forward because of something from the past, um, I think Spirit wants you to know that it is safe to move forward in what, whatever you wanted to uh, move forward in, if that makes sense for some of you. All right, so let's get your advice, advice for this bonus reading for February or anytime you see this. I do, like I said, consider all my readings timeless. So I just want to give a quick shout out to all those new subscribers, those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift, reach out for personal reading. All your support really does mean a lot to me. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so what is Leo's advice that card wanted to flip? Perseverance, not to give up here. Four is all about uh, your foundation and stability. So not to give up. To keep going on. and we. But then we have surrender, which is 10, which is an ending, but then there's always a new beginning. <coughs> so that's kind of conflicting energy. So I'm feeling like some of you are feeling like, it's, oh, I just want to surrender and give up. And, or you're confused like the mace here. I don't know whether or not to keep going or just surrender and just give up. That's kind of what I'm getting there. So, or you may need to surrender a certain way of thinking, um, a feeling, or something that you're doing so that you can keep going on. If that makes any sense. In whatever endeavor it is for you. So let's see what love here, spirit, please, for Leo. What is this burdened energy, confused energy? Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody is confused about coming forward with an offer of love, moving forward in love, finding it overwhelming. Now we have the Knight. So now we have the Knight of Wands looking at each other. The Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands are looking at each other. One wants passion, one wants love. And it's cute, causing a very confused, burdensome energy, I feel like, between two people. Some some of you, maybe, you know, your person just wants the passion and you want more. You want love. You want a loving um, companion or a connection of some kind. But they may just want passion because you're both kind of like looking at each other here. We have water and fire, which may cause some disagreements, arguments. Not seeing eye to eye with the tower moment here. And may cause sadness and regret and hurt here between two people. Eight of Pentacles. But this is an energy now of kind of working together, working it out, putting in the work. So what else? But then we have juggling, balancing things around, trying to find balance. So I feel like somebody is feeling like that it's too much juggling around, too much going on in their life. Could be you or your person just juggling way too much. It feel I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, it's like, but if you add that together, you get the Ten of Pentacles, which is like the commitment, the marriage card, um, you know, the abundant card of two people being together for the long term. But what I'm getting here is that somebody is feeling like it's too much work with the Eight of Pentacles in it, you know, because going down from the Eight to the Two. So feeling like it's too much work. It's too much juggling around. So but may cause a tower moment here, you know, within them or an argument or something not seeing eye to eye between the two of you as you're looking at each other here. Which with the Five of Cups energy can be about just turn back and leaving the other person sad and hurt over this. So it could go either way because we do have that burdensome, confused energy up there. So some people, your person may decide it's just too much work and uh, may turn their back on this. I feeling like one, like I said, wants passion and one wants love. And it's like not really seeing eye to eye here. So, I mean, there could be a chance to work it out with that Eight of Pentacles energy if you can balance things out. But I feel like 
especially with the you know turbulent waters down there it's not balanced right now unfortunately between you and your person <coughs> so here don't let your past let your past hold you back and your loved ones are safe we have the hanged man so i think this is telling you to it's about enlightenment you know taking a pause and reflecting but you know gaining a new perspective on the whole situation and becoming enlightened and, you know untying yourself from that tree yeah because there you are leo because you do have strength confidence determination to keep going uh the willpower the stamina don't let the past hold you back you can you have the strength to overcome the past you need to see that with the hanged man that you can walk away from the past whatever was troubling you and walk to something uh, that you're wanting to walk to that's fulfilling for you. Seven of Swords, so that's a sneaky energy. So it could have been somebody did something to you or something happened in the past. This is the energy of, you know, someone lying, cheating, stealing, um, not a good energy. Which I think, you know, because... You see the Seven of Swords almost like looking at the hanged man. So I think you kind of think about it often, whatever the situation was for you. High Priestess, but you don't say anything. <laughs> High Priestess doesn't say much. You kind of keep it to yourself. But this is about listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing energy. Nine of Pentacles. So being independent, stable, secure, taking care of yourself, abundant. And prosperous so you can move on in stability and abundance and be you know happy and successful don't let this negative energy of the past cause you to keep you know pausing stopping reflecting you know going thinking back in your head which just causes you to kind of like get in stagnant energy that you do have strength to keep going on here on this journey with the Eight of Cups. Keep walking to what you want. Just trust your gut and your intuition that you're going in the right direction and that you and your loved ones, your family, are safe. All right, so what is this perseverance and surrender for Leo? And I would like to say Leo, especially if you're new and you like my style, how I read, you can check out my channel. You like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell, you won't miss out any readings, and I love to read the comments. And if you do, thank you. So what is this all about? The Four of Swords. So it's about healing, rejuvenating, retreating kind of energy. And there's the surrender, I feel. It's just kind of laying down and surrendering, surrendering, like, and just giving up. So I feel like some of you definitely want to give up on a journey here. You're indecisive, and I felt that indecisive energy, like, I don't know what to do. Do I keep going? Whatever journey you're on, do I keep going? Do I keep going? Or do I just stop? So needing, wow, <laughs> two cards here, needing to make a judgment call, a final decision, a judgment call. Can you forgive yourself for having negative thinking? Would you be able to forgive yourself if you stop now? If you're, especially if you're almost wherever your journey is leading you to, if you're almost there, but if you stop now and give up, are you going to regret it later? Will you be able to forgive yourself? If you do that, wow, okay. So what else for Leo? Page of Cups. So it could be apologies or something to do with children. Uh, but this is, you know, peaceful, loving, uh, compassionate kind of communication. Something sincere. And now you have happy home and family, celebrating, stability in the home life, marriage, commitment. What else? And the Hierophant. So, and the Hierophant can be, you know, about commitment. So, what I'm getting here is <coughs> if you stay committed to this journey and not give up, they will be celebrating here. And your uh, life will be much more stable and grounded here. I mean, that Page of Cups can just be... Um, I know it could be apology or just loving communication, sincere communication, compassionate kind of communication, if that makes sense. 
or are you being in the vibration of that energy also and expressing yourself in that kind of way but you have the energy here of staying committed to the journey two cards of commitment the hierophant and the four of wands so if you decide to stay committed and persevere on um i think you'll be celebrating in the long run so let's see what's on the bottom so we have the star so wishes and dreams coming true all the way across the board divinely guided energy for you faith to have faith hope and optimism in your situation you know to see all things with truth clarity this is mental clarity standing up for yourself not backing down not taking any bs cutting away things no longer serving you kind of energy because there i said the ten of pentacles and i said over here the eight and the two would make ten and here's the ten showing up for you so you could end up having the ten of pentacles with your person but whatever you're persevering on whatever you're going for if it's career money whatever you do have abundance coming in for you you do have patience and balance uh peace and harmony coming in healing energy and there's your ace of pentacles a stable new beginning a solid offer coming in for the long term of abundance here so all that energy is here for long term abundance offer coming in being things balancing out peace harmony patience abundance ten of pentacles could be commitment it could be financially set for the rest of your life having that mental clarity cutting away things not longer no longer serving you standing up for yourself not taking any bs faith hope optimism optimism wish dreams coming true divinely guided energy coming in for you not to give up hope wow leo okay leo best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel it's to always always shine your light